Welcome everyone! In today's video, I would like to talk about some useful items in Mists of Pandaria Remix you probably forgot existed or just didn't bother using them at all, which are quite useful. These items' usage may vary, some might save you some time, some may increase your DPS, and so on. Without any further ado, let's get right to it. The first item I want to mention is the Tuft of Yak Fur. This item, when used, will spawn a big yak which you will ride on. This yak is way faster than the usual ground mounts. I found this to be most useful on the Timeless Isle or on the Isle of Thunder. For example, you're on your way to kill Nalak, the world boss, in the Isle of Thunder. You're on the stairs and you hear him say I am born of thunder! And you think you can't make it. Well, you're wrong, you can make it. Probably. If you use this item, your chance of getting a tag are much higher. Or for example, you want to get to a rare on the Timeless Isle, but it's a bit far away. You use the item, you get there sooner than by normal ground mount and get the tag. Easy, use the item, it's very useful and simple. This item can drop from anywhere, but I have noticed more of them dropping from elites on the Timeless Isle, but I might be wrong. Another item which you are probably more familiar with is the Timeless Scroll of Summoning. This one is pretty simple. If you're in a raid or you don't have a warlock, you use this item to create a meeting stone to summon the lazy people to the raid or wherever you are at any given time. And speaking of scrolls, there are four buff scrolls, the Timeless Scroll of Battle Shout, Intellect, Wild and Fortitude. These are just the general buffs that increase a stat, but in case you don't have the required class, be the one to help your group, it only takes one click. Then we have the Nostwind's Voucher. This item, once used, will teleport you to the nearest infinite bazaar. This is very useful when you want to get out of the raid, but your Hearthstone toy is on cooldown, or when you're in either Isle of Thunder, Timeless Isle or Isle of Giants and want to quickly get to the main island of Pandaria. Interesting thing about this is that for some reason, when you use this, it will not teleport you to the nearest infinite bazaar. At least it didn't teleport me. For example, here I am using it while on the Isle of Giants. The nearest infinite bazaar is in Kunlai Summit, right here. But when I finish casting, it teleports me to the Veil of Eternal Blossoms. Same when I use it when I want to get out of the raid, I always get teleported to the same infinite bazaar in the Veil of Eternal Blossoms. This may be because I have my Hearthstone set there and the voucher might teleport you to the nearest Hearthstone location, but I might be wrong about this, this is just my speculation. Another quite useful item is the Meteor Chip. This item will launch you into the air at high speed. This is also very useful when, for example, your Hearthstone is again on cooldown and you are stuck on the Isle of Giants. Again, you use this item to get to the nearest flyable land, hop on your dragon and get wherever you need to. Also, a big shout out to Archvalder's Warcraft Hex. You see, while you are flying as the Meteor, you cannot change the directions, so you are just flying forward. Archvalder found a way to change this inconvenience. You use the parasol before launching yourself or while in the air, which will make you have the slow fall effect, thanks to which you are now able to change the directions of your flight, or well, should I say fall. The easiest parasol to obtain is this one in Revendreth. Just go to this spot, click the parasol and it will be in your toys collection. He says it is faster than dragon riding, so if you are in a hurry, use these two items. Then there is this toy, which is only usable on the Isle of Thunder, the Kirin Tor Beacon or the Sun River Beacon if you are a horde. This item will teleport you to your faction's base on the Isle, here for the Alliance and here for the Horde. This might be useful in case you log out while near Nalak and will save you the time traveling to your base. You might want to go to your faction's base to get the key to the Palace of Lei Shen to do the Throws of the Thunder King scenario. 
And the last two items I wanted to mention are the Timeless Scrolls of Chaos and Mystic Power. These are quite unique and I recommend using these in every raid you join, depending on your class and spec. The Timeless Scroll of Chaos grants you buff, which after you hit a map marks it with a debuff, which increases the magic you deal to it by 4%. The Scroll of Mystic Power works the same, but with physical damage. And that's it for the video. Hope this video helped you in some ways. Like it if you liked it, and be sure to hit the subscribe button, if you feel like it, of course. Thank you again so much for watching, and I'll see you all in Pandaria. Bye!